Hi everyone, Bear from Bear Reads Books. Time for another book review, and today is Mona Awards uh, Bunny, and this was a crazy ride <laughs> of a book. Uh, I gave this four stars. It, I'm still thinking about it, and I, I did a little mention of it on one of my Friday reads a couple of weeks ago, and all of the comments said, "Well, you've just made me." made me want to read it or I've had this on my shelf so now I'm going to pick it up and I, I wanted to say a little bit more about it because it really was thoroughly enjoyable but crazy I still don't know what to make of it I still don't 100% understand what the hell was going on it's a seriously evil strange little book um, it is uh, up for consideration in the booktube prize this year I don't I'm not sure what group it falls into it's not in my group so I'm able to talk about it but you may see it fall into some of the old, uh, later rounds. It's in the long, long list of octafinal, octafinalists, uh, Mona Awards Bunny, which tells the story of a girl called, is it Elizabeth? Uh, I'm terrible with names. Oh, Samantha, <laughs> sorry. It tells the story of a character called Samantha who's won a scholarship to a, a, a Master of Fine Arts program at a university called Warren uh, and this book is meant to be a rip-off or a, or a description of uh, the master of the MFA program at Brown uh, which is a real university, Brown University which I don't think Mona Awad actually attended I think she attended a completely different university altogether but she's taking the piss out of the MFA program at Brown and she's, call it, she's called it Warren uh, if you, if you if you hear that subtle connection between the idea of Bunny and Warren. Uh, and when she gets there, she's been highly lauded for her, for her writing thus far in her career. And when she gets to Warren and she, does, she, works, she workshops some of her stories, everyone hates them, seemingly. This is her perception. She's the narrator of the story. Everyone hates them. But she is this mousy, shy, doesn't dress quite right, doesn't fit in and always quite angry and on edge. She's this very edgy character. And her perception of all the other people in the in the class are that they're all so beautiful and well groomed and they're all in a clique and they all they all move around campus together talking to each other. And these are called the bunnies. And these these bunnies all call each other bunny. So one girl will talk to another girl and say, oh bunny and they'll all call each other bunny. And they all dress in a really accentuated, perfect, you know, perfect dresses, perfect makeup, perfect hair type of way. And, uh, but there's something quite alluring about it to Samantha. On one side, her and her friend, uh, her friend that she, that her only friend that she has, are always taking, uh, are always um, mocking them privately. But I think also privately to herself, away from her friend, Samantha secretly wants to be them and, and or is always looking at them from afar. But there's something not quite right. And when they invite her to attend one of their functions that they have at someone's house, this is when it starts to get in just weird. <laughs> there's, there's seemingly ritual sacrifice they're creating men to be their playthings out of nothing. So they, they have bunnies. So they have like a animal that they create a man out. They create into a, turn into a man. And then they, but all the men are slightly deformed, like missing a hand or missing a, a foot or something. It's just so insanely crazy. I still don't know what that bit was trying to do, but... I think what it's trying to say is, is is the ridiculousness of the Brown MFA program and that it, but the Brown MFA program is, is famous. It's where Brett Easton Ellis comes from. It's where um, Donna Tart comes from. It is famous for churning out incredible writers, but it is this very insular, clicky type of program. And I guess this is Mona Awards take on what that means to to her who she considers herself possibly an outsider who can still write who still has talent who's still releasing books but when you put her up against the clique and and insular society of a brown 
MFA program, she's still an outsider. No matter how many books she releases or how popular she becomes, or how many awards she wins. And then the whole book just descends into this crazy drug fueled, alcohol fueled, I don't know, hallucinogenic trip. It's just amazing. Similar to the birds going on at the moment. The kookaburra, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the. They're having fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Still going. I'll continue. You can you can do you can listen to it in the background. Um, it just turns into this huge drug fueled weirdness that goes from uh, stuff going on at people's houses when they go out. And, oh, I mean, it's such a hard book to describe. What I did find is an excellent review and discussion on the Washington Post. So if you if you if you just Google review of Mona Awards Bunny, you will find a Washington Post review that not so much encapsulates the story because I don't think the author of this review could do that either. But I think what and who is it? Ann Bauer. Ann Bauer tries to capture is just the insanity of of the story and and trying to just hang on while you read it like this wild ride just hanging on uh, and I guess is what I'd say that it's such an insular society that once you get in there everything else falls away so when Samantha does finally become one of the bunnies she against all of her common sense and all of her nativeness that makes her her she becomes one of them. She becomes one of these girls that dress strangely. Girls with the perfect makeup and the perfect hair and the perfect dress. And she starts calling everyone bunny and then, or then starts referring to people in the communal bunny sense. So she loses her own identity. And she's saying something very strong, strongly about that Brown MFA program by having people speak in the communal so they you know so referring to one person as us as as the, as the collective uh, it was like like those children of the corn <laughs> movies where this kid just comes sliding out from the corn um, uh, or when all those kids start start chanting one of us one. it was it was kind of like that it was really haunting uh, so a frightening book truly evil uh, and what it's trying to say about the Brown MFA program is truly horrendous. I'm surprised she hasn't had a legal suit against her, the poor thing. But uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Check out the Washington Post review. It says a lot about the story and about the book a lot better than I can. And I think the person was on the same track as me. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Took so long to work out what the good God was going on. But what a wonderful ride as you as you just hold on and let go and just see what happens uh yeah four stars four stars for me uh, i've got to go uh, enjoy the rest of your day everyone wherever you may be and i'll talk to you again soon thanks bye